Hi, Jason. Hi, Daphne. This is an incredible uh, condo unit. Uh, very interesting. Upon entering, we see the sculptural ceiling. Tell me about your concept. Well, the owner of the condo is a Filipino who's based in Hong Kong. Uh, he wanted a condo design that's uh, expressive of his uh, sort of global sensibilities, but at the same time, it's deeply rooted to the Filipino culture, what he misses. And uh, I guess the challenge for us was how to fuse this very contemporary design with something that's very um, visually Filipino. Okay, so what inspired these uh, uh, trellises that you have? Uh, the first thing that we wanted to do was to create that feeling of expansive space. Especially when you talk about condominium spaces, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So first thing that we, that we did is we tore down the wall and we wanted to create a contiguous space. So we thought of a probably a sheet mm -hmm. of uh, architectural ceiling which was inspired really by the bani uh, that you see in different levels of uh, the Filipino culture that sort of um, combined the, the visual continuity of the entire space. Okay, um, this is really, really, like, very interesting. Um, but I wonder, how do people clean it? How do they clean it? It's just as simple as a feather duster. A feather duster? Yeah, yeah. I asked about that. It's the first thing I asked when I yeah. came here. But we were just lucky that the sizing of um, each panel is mm -hmm. just enough for a regular feather duster. And was there a math to this? Yes, um, actually this came from one sheet of uh, sort of paper mm -hmm. or, or, or fabric. And then to build something that's curvilinear, of course it's difficult, right? Because yeah. we have very limited labor skill set here in the Philippines. We don't have laser cutting technology mm -hmm. or if we do, it's really expensive. So we converted that uh, curvilinear pattern into a series of straight lines that now almost became a weaving mm. of sorts. So we had to draw each and every fin that you see there. Yeah. And then so when the client came, he said, wow, it looks like a cocoon. It does. And so he actually christened the space as Cocundo. Oh, Cocundo. Yeah, and, and to, to, to me, I was so happy with it because he's <laughs> like a, a Filipino based in Hong Kong who yeah. would visit like once a month, right? So every time he came home, okay. he felt like he was at home. He okay. felt like he was in a cocoon. Very nice. And this is made of? It's just made of regular plywood. Plywood, but handmade. Hand cut, handmade, oh and then prefabricated on site. It uh -huh. came here in panels. I think it was two by two mm -hmm. meter panels, and then we just lifted it one by one. Okay. So a one bedroom unit with a nice kitchen. Yeah. It has everything that the person needs, right? Yeah. What did you do here? Did you have to tear down anything here? No, no? it was uh, delivered like this. Even the layout was like this, except that when they delivered it, it was white. Oh. So it didn't go with the intended color palette or the material palette. So we just changed the cabinet doors, we laminated the surface, and this. but the countertop we retained. Oh, this was this was the way yeah. it was. Oh, okay. Black goes with gray. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, Okay, and then the dining table and this, uh, this is the noodle. The noodle. Mm. Noodle chairs yeah. of Kenneth Cabonpue. Yeah. It's nice. And this beautiful painting. Yeah, that piece is by uh, Arden Mopera. Mm -hmm. And uh, that idea of weaving is still there. So you have the lines overlapping with each other, not drawn perfectly. Just mm -hmm. basically consistent also with the imperfection of the concrete. Very nice. Okay, so Jason, this is the uh, amazing bedroom. And from here, the owner could see the entire space. Yeah. I know what you mean, okay. Yeah. Uh, this is a glass partition which we uh, introduced. It used to be solid, mm -hmm. but of course you still need privacy. So of yeah. course there's still the roller shades. Oh, there's an the option to down. roll it down. Yeah, ah. same with all of the exterior windows. Okay. But nice the view because you can see the amenities of the uh, entire condominium complex. That's right, here. and I like the, the plants that you chose. Uh, now the bed is interesting. It's low. It's yeah. got is there extra storage or something? There is. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a full uh, out storage on the mm -hmm. other side. Of course, it's a condo, right? It's yeah. Limited storage, but low hung so that we can preserve the ceiling height. Mm -hmm. Very Scandinavian, and then we coupled it with accent pieces. So that one's from Magis. Uh, yeah. Wow. So this is so nice. It's really like a cocoon. So this is the cocundo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really and. These uh, lines continue even here in the uh, dressing the room, in the closet area. area. All, the of the, uh, oh. all of the toilet spaces. Also the toilet? Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's do a check out the toilet. Like that. Nice. Yeah, in the bathroom, your ceiling height is a little bit lower compared to the rest. So we just retain the same pattern 
same material except we converted it into a flatter surface. Mm, same material? Same material. And what's nice about uh, the sweeping curve is that, uh, of course, um, it not only unifies the space, but it also morphs according to function. So if you look at the dining space, it drops to change its function from a regular ceiling to a drop light. Mm -hmm. Right? So that's it. That's, wow. Yeah. So the opening of the window here, of the wall, uh, so not only does it give a visual uh, like continuity, yeah. Is there also uh, other practical reasons for opening this wall? Well, definitely it allows more natural light mm -hmm. to penetrate not only from that side, but it actually catches the natural light coming from this side. So, And we even didn't put a TV here because when you're lying down there, you can actually just you know, lie down and watch the TV here right in the living room. Oh, great. So uh, I've heard also that they've uh, thrown a few parties here and because of uh, um, the continuity, mm -hmm. it actually works. Oh, that's wonderful. What were the things on his wish that you delivered and tell me about the whole concept of the furnishings? Same with uh, the architecture or the interior architecture. We wanted to balance both uh, you know, global sensibilities with Filipino craftsmanship. Uh, so you see that idea of Filipino craftsmanship in the ceiling combined with, let's say, exposed concrete walls that you typically see in uh, New York lofts mm -hmm. or, let's say, uh, industrial apartments in Paris, for example. But for the furniture, it was also the same. So we have a combination of uh, Scandinavian pieces coupled with, of course, Cebuano pieces. This is a beautiful Selma piece. We have pieces from Kenneth Pobunpue and also pieces from uh, other parts of the globe as well. So it's a combination of that. Mm -hmm. But the um, art pieces that you see are all Filipino. And what's nice is we didn't even have to edit anything when it came to the decoration, to the art pieces, because the owner, I believe, had a very distinct um, taste and sensibility that uh, sort of matched the architectural intent of the mm -hmm. interiors. Uh, was planning the balcony also part of the project? We actually didn't touch the balcony um, too much. It's just an outdoor breathing space, so you overlook the uh, drop-off space of the condo mm -hmm. unit. Uh, we only added a few pieces of uh, you know Italian furniture. This was Moroso. And since uh, uh, the exterior of the building was of a slate green, wanted to interpret it in a more modern tone. So mm -hmm. this is like an apple green of sorts. So I think it blends well, especially with the outdoor uh, mm -hmm. soundscape. What was the feedback that you got from your client when, you, when he saw this? The first thing he said is that you're making my dreams come true, mm -hmm. right? Uh, because he wanted a contemporary Filipino space. And he's had condominiums mm -hmm. uh, in the Philippines, in Manila, that he would stay in or rent out. Uh, whatever the need is but then for him this was the first condo of his that really expressed a certain level of contemporary Filipino-ness if there's such a thing so he was happy with it in fact uh, like what you said a while ago when you came here and saw the previous pictures he really didn't touch a thing mm -hmm. so you know as designers your intention is really um, basically it matches what the client had in mind originally so we're happy with that wonderful Thank you.